Hello, what's up YouTube Ronix with it and Arturo and in this tutorial I'll show you guys how to color grade in Capture One. So this is going to be like my routine for Capture One color grading. So let me show you guys how I do my color grading in just Capture One. So this is the raw file I took a while back and I use the Canon 6D camera and for lighting I use the 120cm softbox. Uh, lighting was done by a Godox 8D 600BM. So I'm just going to come and I select the raw file and I'm going to click import all since it is only a single file or single image for this case. So I'm just going to come to import all in order to import this image into my capture one and select it so that it can appear on this window. So in order to do the color grading, I first of all get my settings to be on the right hand side because I, I am used to color grading in Lightroom and maybe camera which has the setup on the right hand side right here so in order to have it on the right hand side you can simply come to window then come to workspace and come to uh, migration to have everything on the right hand side like I do so as you can see uh, we are going to color grade this image to have those nice beautiful and melanin kind of skin tones for this partic particular image so I'm just going to first of all come all the way down. So since this is a raw file, I'm going to come all the, the way down to uh, the base characteristics and I'm going to select the ICC profile and change it to Pro Standard. So what this does, it gets rid of uh, the red color or the magentas that are embedded in cam Canon cameras. So if at all I'm to show you guys the before and after. So this was the image before and this is the after so it is really a brief adjustment but it really like if at all you notice on the hand side it has removed the magentas that were embedded uh, in that particular area so I'm just going to get rid of that so I always make sure I have my exposure warning to show me the overexposed areas in the image so First of all, I'm going to come all the way up after changing my ICC profile. I'm going to zoom out by holding down Control minus or Command minus. I'm just going to come to the exposure panel. So, and before I come to the exposure panel, I'm first of all going to come to the HDR range or high dynamic range option. And I'm going to pull down my highlights to get rid of this overexposure right here. Then I'm going to also turn up my whites just a little bit around 13 and also my shadows uh, to brighten up this image slightly. And I'm going to turn down my blacks just like that and add some little bit of clarity. And since I have enough contrast in this image, I'm just going to slightly reduce on the contrast of this particular image to around I'm going to go with around negative 11. So let me show you guys the before and after so far. So this was the image initially before and this is where we are before and after. So it is not uh, too much of an adjustment. Then I'm going to come all the way down and I'm just going to slightly pull up my dehairs. So these are just like uh, a raw processing uh, technique or procedure that I follow when I'm doing or editing in capture one so when I'm done doing all that I'm going to come to the layer option and I'm going to create a new field layer just so basically I'm going to right click on this option I'm just going to hit command Z to undo so I'm going to right click and I'm going to come to new field adjustment layer so for this case I'm, I want to only deal with the skin tones of this very Model. So I'm just going to zoom in because I want to balance the skin tones and have uniform skin tones for this model. I'm going to come all the way down to my color editor option. So under this I have to deal with the colors and the skin tones. So I have to first of all sample the color of the skin tones which is under the skin tone option. So I'm going to select the skin tone and I'm going to come all the way down and get my eyedropper tool. So when I come to my color picker tool or my eyedropper tool, I'm going to sample an area of the skin which I want uh, the rest of the model skin to look like. So I'm just going to select that. 
and when I select that and I come all the way down to show the selected color range you can see I've selected uh, the model skin and sampled it and the rest of the areas have not been sampled or selected so what I'm going to do I'm going to turn this off and now I want to unify all the skin tones of the model and in order to do that you can see when I sampled uh, the skin tones of the model it really showed me that the skin tone lies between the reds and the yellows for this particular case so you can simply increase on the range if at all you wish to and now come all the way down to the uniformity option and under uniformity I'm going to come to the hue option and I'm going to start hueing uh, the skin tones just like this towards the right hand side and let me zoom out slightly and I'm going to move it up to that point when I feel like everything is really uniform and the skin tones are kind of uh, matching and after I'm done doing all that I'm going to simply come to the saturation option and I'm just going to turn up the saturation a little bit more then come to the amount and, and I'm going to reduce on the whole saturation amount for this particular image so after I've done doing so I'm going to simply come to the basic option and I'm going to play around with these uh, options or colors in this particular image so I want to play around with the blues for this case so in order to play around with these blues I'm going to come and I'm going to create another adjustment layer like in Photoshop so that I can change these values later on so after creating that new layer I'm just going to come all the way down to the you can either come to the basic or the advanced and I'm going to sample the area of uh, the models cut that we want to affect for this case so I'm just going to sample I think it is sampling the blue area so I'm just going to hew down uh, the blues in this image so it's like I'm trying to go in for that kind of teal look for this image so I'm just going to hue or make the blues kind of greenish and I'm going to come to the lightness and also uh, darken uh, the blues a little bit more so I could simply turn up the saturation since I want to go in for that kind of orange and teal look for this particular portrait I think that looks okay so right now I want to target uh, the greens for this image so I'm going to target or sample the greens and I'm going to play around with the hues for the greens in this particular image so since I'm aiming for that kind of teal look I'm just going to hue the greens and I'm also going to turn down the lightness a little bit so I think uh, this looks okay so let's see the progress so far for the color grading process of this particular image by turning on the before and after you can see let me zoom in slightly you can see this was the image initially before and this is the after before and after you can see how we have been able to get uh, these beautiful and uh, nice looking tones by using just a few sliders in capture one and when you're done doing all that uh, we are just going to leave the way it is if at all we feel comfortable with the color grading process for this very image the way it is and we are going to turn off the before and after so the next step is usually retouching the image in Photoshop so uh, you're going to stick around and learn how to retouch your full body images in Photoshop so where I'm, I'm going to show you guys how I retouch or do the skin retouching rather for full body images in Photoshop so if at all you want to go ahead and maybe retouch your image in Photoshop after you have color graded it in Capture One simply come to image and come to edit with and you can select Photoshop 2020 if at all you want to retouch the image further on and you can select the format that you want to retouch in Photoshop so I prefer using TIFF then come to the bit ratio and I'm going to choose 16 bit because I want more information embedded in this very image and come to edit variants and when I come to edit variants it is going to export the image into Photoshop and automatically open up the image 
into Photoshop. So this is more of the very first step for my color grading process in Capture One and the image is going to be opened into Photoshop. So I hope you guys stick around uh, for the next tutorial that is uh, retouching uh, this very image in Photoshop. I'm Ronix from Ronix Photography. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in yet another tutorial. And don't forget to keep practicing and keep creating.